What's up, Burke fam? I'm Steve, hashtag Team No Sleeves from Burke Family 54 Comics. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I ship a comic book. Let's go. Today's video is brought to you by comic book underscore pressing on Instagram. Protect your comic book investment for as little as $10 by pressing it with comic book underscore pressing on Instagram. He presses all tiers and grades of comic books and make sure you use my promo code Burke 54 for free shipping back to you. Again, today's video is brought to you by comic book underscore pressing on Instagram. All right guys, so I often get asked, what is the best way to ship a comic book? And there are several really good ways to ship comics, but for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys three different ways that I ship comics. We're gonna talk about how to ship a slab, how to ship a single book, and how to ship several books. Let's go. All right guys, so we're gonna talk about how to ship a single comic book first. We have our book here, we have our Gemini mailer. If you're shipping comic books, uh, like individual comic books, you always should be using a Gemini mailer. Uh, and preferably you should be keeping those that you buy online, keeping those in case you ever need to send some out, whether it's an A-OK -okay or you sold some books, whatever it is. And then you also are going to need some blue tape. Blue painter's tape is your best friend when shipping comic books. Okay, so uh, the best way to ship a single comic book, in my opinion, is to have it in a Gemini mailer, like I said. Now, you do not want that thing to move around. Now, before we get any farther, I do want to say... Uh, that this Gemini mailer is actually the only one I have because I, I have sent out so many books lately that I uh, I don't have any others. It actually is damaged right here. And the books that were inside, I had pressed by my presser, Eric, comic book underscore pressing, and they were damaged. Power Rangers issue zero, uh, one of 50, one of 100. He repressed them. Both of them still came back 9.8, even though they had some ticks on them. I got kind of lucky. But this is just for the example today. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this book inside there. Now, I always like to protect the book by putting something on both sides, whether it's just some backing boards or some actual cardboard. Um, what I always do is, oops, I'm going to move this over to the side for a second. Put some blue painter's tape, hold it together there. And I always like to make pull tabs. Pull tab, you pull it, push it down right here. So there's a little handle. And then you put it on one side so it's easy for the person that's buying it to take it off. Okay, now we're done. Now, if this was a, an expensive book, um, I would definitely suggest using some thicker cardboard and also some bubble wrap. But just for today's example, if you're just sending like a single comic book that's just, you know, cover price or, I mean, I don't know, $10 or less, I think this is probably good enough. Um, and then you're going to open up your Gemini mailer. Shout out to Karate Kevin, pretty sick art there. You're going to open up your Gemini mailer. You're going to put it in here. And now that the book is secured onto the boards around it, now we need it to not move while it's inside. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did earlier. We're gonna make some pull tabs. And we're gonna tape it to the actual Gemini mailer. So, the, so that way it does not move when it's on the inside. Again, more pull tabs. So again, this is just an example. I'm not gonna use this one because it has a thing in it. You don't ever wanna use damaged materials. This is just for the example today for people in the comment section. You could probably do just both sides, but I mean, it's always kind of nice to just do just a little bit more. You don't ever wanna go back over the other piece of tape as well so that we're not pulling up all of it. If you're doing all four sides, you know it, it is secure. So right now it's protected on top and bottom. It's protected because it's not moving. And now we're going to piece it together with the Gemini mailer. Again, another pull tab, turn it over. And then you're ready to use some of this tape 
tape it up, tape the top and bottom, and put your shipping ad address on one side. We are done. That is how you ship a single comic book. All right, guys, so how you ship uh, a lot of comics or, you know, m more than one, you're going to want to make sure uh, that you put them all together, obviously. And what it's really nice to do is to move them from where the top is here and then the next one, the top is here. So that way it's completely flat versus being heavy on one side of, you know, the fold there. Um, and what's what I like to do also is to, on the, the back book, make sure that the inside of the book, inside of the books is all facing the inside so it doesn't get damaged on the outside. What we want to do, just like we did earlier, we're going to um, tape these together so that way none of these move. We're going to do, we're going to use some of our blue tape and we're also going to obviously we're going to put it in a box and I got some other shipping supplies. Okay, so we got pull tabs on all sides right here. Easy to pull, take apart. Um, now what we're gonna do is, obviously if you try to put this in the box, get all this extra room, it slides around. It, it's not gonna protect it good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna protect it by putting it in some shipping supplies here, and we're gonna use some more to put around it so it does not move. Okay, so that is on there now. Now we need to put some stuff in the box. So again, so that way it fills up the whole thing, does not move. I got some bubble wrap here. I have to put some on the bottom first. Okay, let's see how it fits in there now. Okay, not bad. Now what I like to do is put some on both sides and the top um, and just overall just make sure it doesn't move around. Okay, now if we close it, you can see that there's still some room here because if you put it in there, it's still going to move around. You don't want to hear any moving around whatsoever. I got a little bit more uh, bubble wrap. I'm going to put right on the top and then that, we should be good here. Good to go. What's that? I'm doing a video on how to ship comic books. What's up? What, what can I do for you? You just come to annoy me? Is that what's going on? Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't like your attitude. No, you're just in here organizing your comic books. I am making a video, look. I'm making a video. <laughs> you're weird. Nobody can see that right now, right? I'm not live, no. I'm not. We're not. That's good. All right, guys, we're finally to the slab, how to ship one. Um, this is also how you ship multiple slabs. You're always going to want to use one of those priority mailers from the post office. I got one right here. Obviously, like I've been saying the whole time, you definitely want to make sure you're keeping your shipping supplies when you buy stuff online so you can reuse it. That's what I got right here for today's example. So uh, obviously I got a bubble wrap here. We're gonna wrap it in bubble wrap and then we're gonna put it in a box. I got extra bubble wrap because again, you do not want any of these books moving around whatsoever. That's how they get damaged. You want as much bubble wrap in there on these slides as possible. So you don't get any of these cracked just like Jim Mint did on his latest video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this in some bubble wrap. We're gonna put it in a box and then we're gonna be done. So let's go ahead and uh, see how we do this.
Okay, we just got it done wrapping it up. Uh, I got it more protected on the front than the back, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna keep protecting, add some more bubble wrap. Okay, so now we have it securely in here. Feels pretty good, pretty thick, pretty great. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in the box, see how it feels. Fits nice and snug. Look at that. You hear it moving? Doesn't move. Obviously you're gonna tape it down just like we do with all the other boxes. We'd wanna do that with this tape. We're not doing that because as an example. And that is how you ship comic books. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Again, I'm Steve from Burke Family 54 Comics, hashtag Team No Sleeves. Let me know in the comment section what you guys thought of my how-to video and how do you ship comic books, all of that and more. Again, thanks for watching. And as always, go cats, cowabunga, and it's morphin' time.